We are just six weeks away from the 2024 presidential election and the road to the White House definitely runs through Pennsylvania. Crisscrosses. Both candidates have already made several stops in the area and there are more to come. Our Lauren Linder joins us live this morning with details on former President Trump's visit yesterday and what we know so far about the vice president's upcoming visit. Lauren, good morning. Good morning, David and Erica. The race for the White House is heating up and all eyes are on Pennsylvania, specifically our region. Former President Donald Trump stumped at Indiana University of Pennsylvania last Last night after making stops in Westmoreland and Armstrong counties earlier in the day. He talked about immigration, his opponent, fracking and the economy, among other topics. So vote Trump and your incomes will soar, your net worth will skyrocket, your energy cost and grocery prices will come tumbling down and we will bring back the American dream. Bigger, better and stronger than ever before. The American dream. Now, Trump also promised to keep U.S. steel in America. Vice President Kamala Harris also says she believes the company should be American owned. And speaking of Harris, she'll be returning to Pittsburgh tomorrow. A senior advisor to the Harris campaign tells Katie K she will make a major economic policy speech here. What she's going to talk about in Pittsburgh on Wednesday is uh, her true vision for the economy. What's her philosophy? What does being a capitalist mean to her? What does creating jobs and looking out for the middle class mean to her? What is the bigger picture in this election? What's the choice between President Trump and Vice President Harris on the economy? And so she's going to be laying out sort of her guiding vision and philosophy on the economy. This will mark Harris's fourth visit to Pittsburgh since she started her campaign for president two months ago. No word yet where and when Harris will speak. And according to CBS News, Trump says he'll be returning to Butler County October 5th for the first time since the assassination attempt on his life more than two months ago. But sources in the county told the Butler Eagle yesterday that they have had no recent contact with his campaign and were surprised by national news reports about a visit next month. David, Erica, back to you.